Hey everybody, Debbie here from Easy Piano Styles. So last week uh, we were talking about, um, actually two weeks ago, the, the full roll. Okay. And that was the root, the fifth, the ninth, which is a pivot, the third, fifth, seventh, fifth, third. You can do that on any chord. See that A down there? I think you can, yay! Okay. So, those are all eighth notes, okay? And then the right hand, I told you I was we were going to put it together with some melody notes in the right hand. So, in the right hand, we have those are quarter notes, but those are upbeat, so we don't put anything in the left hand yet. And then this C is held, and that's when the left hand comes in. Two and three and four and. So that's not hard to do, because the right hand's just holding the note, and the left hand is doing that in eighth notes. Okay. But, um, one and two and three and four and... All right, the next chord is a D. So let's go over what you would play in the left hand. You go the root, fifth, ninth, which is the E, and then the third, which is F sharp, fifth, Seventh, fifth, third. So it's okay. The right hand has in the in the first beat you're hanging on to the C, but then in the next beat it goes looks by my sort of quarter notes. So these are quarter notes and these are eighth notes. Let's see how it integrates. One and two and three and four and one and then you come in on the two. Right? So in any moment there, there could be a little dissonance, but keep in mind these are when you get this going, it's gonna be fast, so you're gonna be sailing right through those dissonances. Alright, so again, the A minor. Three and four. Then we start the D, and then we come in on B two. Now we have a G major seventh. So we this is a half note. Half note. One and two and three and four. And notice this is coming in on one and two and that be the point of it at which it comes in. And then this is held and we have a C major. Okay, so the right hand is doing largely quarter notes and holding whole notes and the left hand just continues on the eighth note pattern, right? It's, it doesn't change, it doesn't change, or it doesn't matter what the right hand's doing. It's just continuing on in its eighth note patterns. All right, and this is a really good one to practice with because the simplicity of the melody in the right hand with quarter notes and eighth notes, whole notes. I mean, quarter notes, uh, half notes, and whole notes. So it's not going to be as hard to coordinate the hands, okay? Um, so pick either this song, this the one that I have in Autumn Leaves is in the key of... Um, a minor. Um, actually, it's in the key of E minor, but it starts on an A minor chord. Um, do a song, you know, it's in the key of C or A minor or E minor or G major. Not one with a lot of sharps or flats. And with a simple melody, not one that's uh, highly syncopated or active. Um, because that way you're going to be able to, to do the chords and the uh, melody well in the beginning. So you always start simple and slowly, most important thing. Okay, uh, give that a try. We will talk next week, I promise. Bye-bye.